this video is going to be for the people that have two different outputs or maybe even three. I'm using voice meter, uh, banana, you can use either one I think with uh, multiple outputs. So I have obviously two different outputs here. I also have uh, speakers that I'm going to set up and then I have my headphones that I'm using right now. Uh, if any of that is something that you're doing and you're having issues with Discord audio going to the Windows default, like I did, I don't like that. I, I was trying to change uh, so that the desktop audio went to one output and the uh, Discord audio went to another. As you can see here, I have a virtual audio cable also for some of my inputs and outputs because I like to complicate things. So here we are. Now, when I originally changed my Discord output device, it would not change. It took me a while to figure this out. It was very hard to find, uh, for me at least. This might be easy for somebody else. What I had to do was open up, first of all, you open up your main Windows settings, which you can right click on uh, the icon here, and you can go to settings, just like that. Come over to system, click on that, down to sound, and then in here, you can set your default output device. That doesn't really matter. You can also go all the way down to other sound options. Click on that, and here you can set specific apps to specific outputs and inputs. This is where I had to take care of the Discord audio. So you see here I changed it to cable A, that's the virtual audio cable. That is right here, cable A. That's what I had to do to get it to finally stick. So if this helped you out, leave a like, uh, comment if you found a different way, because I'm curious. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.